Welcome back to another awesome video. It's been a couple months since we reviewed this WF4833 printer and now it's time to see if we can slip these off-brand cartridges past the corporate overlords or will they be rejected by the printer? I have you not. Before we get to that, a quick update. The printer has been working great for us with one exception. A message pops up every now and then saying there was a system error and the printer restarted itself. I just click OK and the message goes away and it appears to have no effect whatsoever on printing or scanning. Not sure what the message means, but I did block this printer from accessing the internet, so it might just be its way of complaining at me. The printer's web interface shows we have printed more than 400 pages in the past few months. This is a lot more than I expected. The good news is we exceeded the estimated 350 pages that we were supposed to be able to print with the included cartridges. About a week or two ago, I noticed this warning icon appearing on the LCD screen and on the web interface about the black cartridge being low. There's also another indicator about something called a maintenance box. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Anyway, let's talk about our cartridge options. I need to replace the black ink cartridge pretty soon and probably not long after the uh, color ones. So the safest and cheapest route would be just to buy an Epson 822 black cartridge for $20. But I would still have to deal with the color cartridges and now I know that the standard capacity cartridge only like could last a few months. So I want to go for the XL cartridges, larger capacity. Buying a complete set of Epson Genuine XL cartridges would cost $120. $120? I only paid $50 for this printer. At this point, it would be cheaper to just throw this printer in the garbage and find another new in the box printer on Shop Goodwill for less than $120. But throwing away the printer would be very wasteful and I want to see if generic cartridges will actually work in here. First, I gathered some candidates in an Amazon wish list, making some notes about each and their claims and when they were first available on Amazon.com, and I ended up picking this. This is a Tenno. Tenno, Tino, I don't know. Anyway. Smiley face. Yeah, I guess it does sort of look like a smiley face. Like we gotta take it. All right, yeah. They look just like the regular cartridges. Yeah. Okay, now with the other one, with the HP printers, this thing sort of automatically slides over. I don't know if we have to like do something on the printer. Replace the cartridges. Start. Okay, so it says, yeah, it shows you how low this thing is. Lift the scanner lid. Yeah, just open it up. Oh, well now, now it moved over. Okay. We got the, the uh, Epson one and the regular one. Let's see. Okay, so. Do I take off the yellow thing? Yeah, you take off the yellow thing. And then you shake it up a little bit and then go ahead and stick that in there until it clicks into place. Sure is doing a lot of stuff. Replacement is complete. Okay, it's printing something. So let's see. It's working. So just for the record, I mean, I, I can't tell any difference on these. They line up nicely. That's good news. We were able to use the off-brand ink cartridges with this firmware. I'll put the firmware and the ink cartridge model numbers up on the screen. So depending on what you have, this worked. Thank, hey, it's, it, we won. End of the story, right? No. Wrong. There's more. Let's talk about the maintenance box. What box? Picture a box and whatever you imagined, whatever you wanted to be in it, when you opened that box, there it would be. So what is this mysterious maintenance box? Well, Unfortunately, it's something else that needs to be replaced because it collects runoff ink. Now, everybody knows these inkjet printers have cartridges, but apparently this one has a maintenance box. I've owned multiple HP printers, the last of which ran for 17 years. Never had a maintenance box. It's like a trash can. And, and of course, it's like the cartridges. It has a chip. And of course, there's an expensive and a knockoff brand. So if I'm going to try these off-brand cartridges, of course, I'm going to try an off-brand trash can. So we found this, this uh, from Paws... I don't know what how you pronounce their name. So while the cartridges get empty, the maintenance box gets full of old ink. What a ripoff. What? See you next time for another awesome video.